age of eight or something like there was an arrow that was shot and there's been this arc that's been happening and I've watched it happen and it and everything I've done creatively has brought me to Diana and I'm so grateful that I'm I'm ready to play her now what's happening is that I've I'm living Diana now all the time I just turn the volume up when I go on stage and I turn it off when I come home. I miss the mountains. I miss the highs and lows. Every step along the way since I've been involved has been a, a progressive step toward a completed masterpiece, I think. And um, uh, finally ending up at the booth after all this time seems to be the, the cherry on on top and the booth is the meeting place the booth theater is it has the best feng shui on broadway i keep saying and it's the perfect mate for the show no 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 i'm alive i'm alive i am so alive if you climb on my back then we both can fly well when when a musical piece is offered to me that's that's kind of where my forte is right now so it would it would have been different if it had been a television script but it, it was a musical piece, which that's kind of where my strength lies right now. Spending all my time where the air is clear and cuts you like a knife. I was sitting on the cou on my couch in my living room in my shirt and underwear, which is what I was sleeping in the night before, uh, with the remote in my hand. And then when they announced all the nominations for our show, I felt like I'd been fast forwarded into um, the most exciting part of the dream that I'm living in right now. I miss 